Alex, this is this is gonna be for you because you you had um, certain questions about how I'm doing the um, background pictures and stuff. So I'm gonna take it from from the beginning. I'm gonna show you exactly what I do, so that in this way you can figure out that the pictures in your in your canvas or your timeline doesn't stay the same. So basically, we're gonna take a picture. We're gonna import media on your left hand corner right here, and we're gonna I'm just gonna Let's say I'm gonna pick a uh, images content that I'm just saving it from. We're gonna use just say this picture right here. Uh, we're gonna pick a uh, this funny picture, right? So it's gonna end up on your your timeline up here, your image. What you're gonna do is right click and add timeline to playhead. Then it's gonna come down to the bottom here, and what you can do, Alex, is adjust this picture so it fits the screen now you can do this with any of your pictures so that it just stays on the screen and this is going to be your background this was this is important of having that background and you can see on the bottom here you can adjust this so you can make it short where you can add more pictures now what's going to happen here is, is you're going to take your video we're going to take a video and we're gonna import media again. Just say we're gonna take it from. We're gonna take it as we're just gonna use from my my camera right here. I'm gonna just take a short one. Now it's gonna end up on here on your canvas over here on your clip bin on the left hand corner. And what you're gonna do is right click, add that to your playhead. Now. Your video, if you can see, this is how I chop up videos right here. You're gonna see that I made a short one from here, what are you and just me, for? just doing that. Now, for it to move around here, see your background right here on the bottom left. It stays your background picture. When you put your video over on their playhead right here, that just covers it. Covers it over the timeline like I said building a pizza this might be your dough at the bottom here this might be your fir your first pepperoni or something else of that matter but how you take that picture and taking up your green screen is you're gonna go you gotta make sure this is blue right here the bottom one is your picture that you added and you can add many more pictures we're gonna add another picture here so that I know you're you're still fascinated about the pig, so import media again. We're gonna go to um, my uh, images content and say you wanna put. We're gonna put. Let's see. We're gonna put me in front of. We'll pick any picture. So that's gonna appear there, and now you're gonna add that to your timeline again here. So, but you gotta make sure that when you narrate your thing, see this blue? You're gonna put this on the bottom here. So now we have picture of the smiley faces, and we're gonna have this, and make sure your playhead is over it so you know what it looks like. You can move this out of the way. You see how this picture, you just click the picture, and you make it so that you adjust the screen so it's covering the whole timeline here, right? This is out of the way for now. Now, here's the secret here. You're going to see my video here. I'm on the video. What I'm going to do is click on Visual Properties. And I'm going to remove color. So click this button on the left. Remove a color. Right. Click this. Select the color. And I'm going to click this here. All right. So now you see I have that background in the in the in the back. My video is right there, but you see the green that's around my my picture. Now you have to adjust the tolerance so that green goes away. So a lot of green, less green, the softness of your picture. See so you don't want to fade it out, so you got to kind of like play with it. And you know the hue, the yellow, the browns and stuff like that. So the defringe, see I can make myself gray. 
So you just got to play around with that. But as you can see, when I'm talking over here, right here I might be talking. What are you waiting for? Click the link below and get started now. 10 bucks for free, guys. Now, now that's how I see you can practice. This is going to be out of the way. As you can see, the picture is still here at the bottom. Now I'm going to play this. Now it's going to switch to another picture that I can put myself in front of again. But now you have to play with the tolerance level on this one again, see, because it's white. That's why they, they say use a background, not the white picture. So that's something I just found out the other day. But look what happens. Move your playhead. What are you waiting for? Click the link below and get started. And now. that's how I do those pictures over there for moving around. Now, when you're doing your videos and stuff and stuff like that, you can narrate this and we're gonna add another a picture. So we're gonna go import another picture. We're gonna use this, just say hello entrepreneur. Alright, that's gonna come here. We're gonna add that to the time playhead right here. So all these at the bottom here are just pictures, Alex, because this way you can change Ten what you got, free, 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 what free, you free. got for those pictures. Okay, watch. I'm sitting down. I got my green screen. White is what no are good. You waiting for? Click the link below and get started now. But now you want to move around, see? So now you click this so that you click this track too, where it's highlighted and you're gonna go to visual properties and add animation up here on the left we already went over that see this blue this blue dot with the yellow arrow what we're gonna do is move this and this thing is gonna is gonna you see on the the blue dot it kind of like moves so what happens is you're gonna do that and watch myself move when it gets to the move blue dot. The Click the dot. link below and get started now. 10 bucks for free, guys. Aha! Click below. So it moved and you can move this dot to see how fast you want it to move. And you can play around with that so that you can figure out where you want to move. What are you waiting for? Click the link below and get started now. Now if I wanted to move it back, Alex, you add animation again. It'll put a blue dot here. Move this. Take this on your canvas. Move to the right. You can even make it smaller. So it can match what you got going on. And see what happens. What are you waiting for? Click so the link moved below and get started. To the right. Now. 10 bucks for free, guys. Click below. And I made it bigger. See? So I hope this helps Alex. I just I just wanted to say that, you know, I didn't forget about you. This is just a quick tutorial to see how you can make your videos move around on screen. Sorry for not looking at the camera because I got three monitors going on right here so I can change my um movements. And I hope this helps. All right, hope this helps guys. Bye.